Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend. Look at this big smile on my face. I'm doing part four of my little trip down memory lane, and wow, I'm picking some crackers. Look at this bad boy. Glendronach 18. This is a 2017 Glendronach 18. This is a Billy Walker 18. It's it's one of my firm favourites. It's a whisky that was... Well, Glendronach was probably one of the, the whiskies that kind of really took me down the sherry road. Look at that dark, dark colour. Oloroso, fully matured Oloroso. In fact, I'll probably show you here. Took the coin off. Guys, I've just, there's no notes. I've no look back at my review. I've just decided to review this one off the cuff. No notes. Just poured it, covered it up. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, rich, dark mahogany colour. Uh, you probably think that's a massive big whiskey friend pour, but it's not. It's just one of those tiny little New Zealand whiskey glasses. Courtesy of Mr. Nick Keen, one of my Patreons. Thank you very much, Nick, and I'm hoping to get to your samples quite soon, mate, but I thought I'd dive in and pour this. Sorry it's not a PT. I probably should have used this on the Ardbeg video, but I'm going to stick it in a sherry one just for the sake of it, Nick. But um, thank you very much, buddy. Thanks for your support. Wow. Glendronach 18. 46% ABV. Fully matured Oloroso sherry. That, that's something unusual now for Glendronach. I'm not going to get into the Glendronach rant, but I haven't purchased a bottle of Glendronach since they take since they took the that's the non-chill filter thing off the bottles. Guys, if you've been following Glendronach and you were a Glendronach fan, let me know. Have I made a mistake? Have I cut my nose off to spite my face? Is the whiskey any different? Is it as good as it was before? Then dive and let me know. Because I haven't purchased a bottle since. And it may be time that I maybe, even just for research, just to tackle a bottle of Glendronach just to see if it is as good as it used to be. But yeah, on the nose of this one, guys, it's rich, it's dark, it's it's a sherry bomb. It's, it's the sherry bomb of sherry bombs. Chocolate, raisins, fudge. Fruitcake, cherries, plums, dates, figs, raisins, sultanas. It's all going on here. But it's a richness. It's got a beautiful, beautiful richness. A little hint of spice kicking around in there as well. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Such a great dry. It smells dry. It's not, it's not a sweet nose. It's a real earthy donage. This smells like it's been lying in a cask for like 18 years on the bottom level of a real Dunnage warehouse. Got that real Dunnage earthy feel to it, but at the same time, it's it's raisins. There's nothing sweet about this whiskey. It's not a sweet whiskey. It's dark. It's sinister. It's sinister. Is that, is that maybe the right word? Maybe it's not as sinister, but it's a real. It's not. It's not a sweet whiskey. But it's got it's got a nice nose. It's got if you're a sherry lover, guys, you're gonna love it. If you're a big big sherry, particularly if you're all Oloroso, you're gonna love it. Uh, but look at that colour, dark, rich mahogany, lovely. Any legs kicking down over the camera? I can pick those legs up, but I think there's some legs piling all over there. Wow, what whiskey! This is one of my favourite all time sherry bombs of all time. You've been nursing this one. Not that I need to nurse it because I have a, I have a couple in the bunker. Um, but yeah, it's one of them that you maybe bypass because you want to try this. You want to try the, the latest teapot. You want to try the latest, the new spring banks. You want to try the latest from Aaron. You want to try the latest, your new Aaron 18. You want to dive in and try it. There's just so much whiskey available at the minute. Arden and Merkin's kicking around. All these new distilleries, Ben Romack are doing great things, Glenn Mori are doing great things, the Kid in the Heads and you know, Master of Malt are doing their own blended whiskey. Where do you stop? Glenn Alekies are diving all over the place, we're doing everything. It's just a tough, tough job at a minute. 
So, guys, here's my question. Are we missing out on some of the old whiskies that kind of got us to where we are now? Have we bypassed them? Have we left them on the shelves? Do me a favour, dive in, try one, let me know if there's anything. That... Guys, we've nosed it from time to time. We like to taste them on the channel. I'm just wondering whether I've poured a big enough dram because as soon as I start sipping on this, I might not have anything left for the finish. So I'm going to try and be careful with this one. Responsibly, of course. So, you know, where this is going, guys, it's gone down the hatch. Clint Drunk, 18, down the hatch. Cheers. Oh, rich, spicy. It's got a real, real nice peppery peppers of the tongue. It's dry, not for very long. It becomes so mouth watering, so juicy. Those plums, those juicy plums, they're dripping in juice. Those raisins are so boozy, boozed up raisins. The raisins are having a party and they've got they've got five bottles of whiskey and they're just pouring all over each other. It's those boozy, boozy raisins. Sticky. It's going jammy now. Juicy's going jammy. Wow. There's no sweetness. If you're looking for a sweet whiskey, guys, and this Glen Drunk 18's not a sweet whiskey. It's all about the earthiness. It's all about that Dunnage warehouse. It's all about that rich, rich Oloroso sherry. Dry, becomes very mouth watering. Chocolate, big chocolate note. Christmas cake, Christmas pudding. It's a wonderful, wonderful whiskey. Thick, juicy, sticky, chewy. Raisins, figs, dates, plums, juicy plums, raisins, sultanas, all the dried fruit, all the dark fruit. Sherry bomb, sherry bomb of sherry bombs. This is definitely one of those. And guys, just to make sure, I'm going to take another quick sip just to add a bit of research, of course. So you'd be, I'd be a miss if I didn't. So I wouldn't be doing my job justice if I didn't do a bit of research for you guys. But let's do another sip. Do the hatch, guys. Oh, so their mouth feels wonderful. It's spicy on arrival. Second sip. Still a little bit spicy. But it the spicy just comes in and gives you a wee bit of your kick and then the rest take over. Then as it develops again, it's it's Christmas cake, it's 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 fruity, it's sherry, it's a sherry bomb, it's, it's in fact guys, it's a sherry masterpiece. Well done, Mr. Billy Walker. Love it. It's raisins, it's boozy raisins. A little bit of coffee coming through now towards the finish. There's some coffee coming in. Espresso, dark coffee. Rich dark coffee, black coffee. Maybe even a little bit of black tea coming in. Black fruit, dark fruit. There's nothing light about this whiskey. From the colour all the way through the palette, it's all dark, dark, dark stuff. This would could be classed as evil whiskey. In fact, I might make this the title of this whiskey. This is Dark Evil Whiskey. Um, but it's beautiful. If you want to go to the dark side, I have some Glen's Round 18. The finish is long, rich, spicy, dark, dry, dark fruit. A little bit of red fruit, but it's the red fruit, maybe a little bit of red apple, a little bit of, I'm thinking the plums are maybe a wee bit more red plum. Is there such a thing? A bit of red grape, maybe. A little bit of redness coming through into the finish. Not strawberry, not raspberry, stuff like that. There's a wee bit more, kind of, maybe a wee bit of cherry in the finish, but it's a dark cherry. But, wow, what a whiskey. Guys, as you know, I'm not going to score these because these are just re-reviews because I just wanted to review them on the taste. I just I wanted to just 
drink them and try them and go back to them and review them again. And Guys, other than that, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Guys, you know, guys, we're heading towards 7K. So we're not too far. We're, getting, we're heading on the right direction. As always, the pleasure is in the sharing. I'm glad I've got someone as left for this part. Um, as the we all know, the pleasure is in the sharing. And don't forget to send some great whiskey straight in the hatch. And until the next time, guys, see you soon. Cheers now.